Here she is at the start of the swing phase on her right leg. The ankle is slightly less plantar flexed, unshod. This may be a result from pushing less in terminal stance with the increased cadence. That difference in plantar flexion is maintained through the mid-swing, and we can also see, see that she maintains the arch on her left foot. At terminal swing, the shod foot has more dorsal flexion than the unshod foot. In flight, the dorsal flexion of the shod foot increases to prepare for the heel strike, while in the unshod foot stays neutral. At initial contact, we see a true heel strike in shoes and a midfoot forefoot strike barefoot. By mid stance, the shod foot has been eccentrically returned to neutral to have this no significant difference between shod and unshod. The posterior view, we see she has similar valgus angles in shod and unshod in terminal stance. This has been the result of greater ankle motion in shoes since she was more valgus during mid stance in shoes. At toe off, we see no significant differences in valgus angle during shod or unshod running. Thank <laughs> you. 